Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Twitter. So this is a social media platform that is just a big question mark for a lot of people. And I know when I first started on Twitter, it was just like, I got a Twitter profile and then I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> right? What is the point of this thing? What is the point of Twitter? And you know, this video I've done for the past two years, I've put out a new how to use Twitter for the past two years and I've received so many of your comments saying that's been very helpful and I've received lots of questions from you guys and I'm going to try to incorporate a lot of those questions into this video so you guys will get a really good crash course here on Twitter. So I'm going to try and cover as much as I can here. So first I want to start off by talking about what is the point of Twitter, right? What do people use Twitter for? And Twitter is really a platform to digest news from around the world, whether it's political news or sports news or uh, global events, um, just or business news, anything, anything in the world that is going on right now you can find it on Twitter. It's like our the new age news channel right now. And so because of that, Twitter is a platform that is constantly changing. It's a dynamic feed of tweets. So this is how people digest the information on Twitter is that it's a news, it's a place where people check the news and actually has become a habit for some people to open up their Twitter feed and check and see what's going on in my industry or what's going on in the world today or in my city or whatever it is that interests that person. So in terms of being on Twitter as a tweeter, um, Twitter can really help a lot in two different aspects. Number one, it can really help you gain exponential visibility for your brand or your business. And the reason why I say that is because it's Twitter is very different from Facebook. On Facebook, you have a bunch of friends, right? And whenever you post something on Facebook, you you hope that all of your friends who are following you will see that post, but that's not true. Um, not all of your friends will see it. In fact, Facebook has a certain algorithm that determines, okay, I'm going to show your post to this friend, and and but not to this friend. So your content isn't as visible. On Twitter, when you create a post or a tweet, everybody sees it. So when you first create your Twitter profile, by default, your profile is public. So all of the tweets that you create, all of the content that you post can be seen by everyone, 20 something million active users on Twitter. You can put a private setting on your Twitter so that only the people who follow you can see your tweets. So we'll talk about that in a bit when we look at the settings section. So it's, it's, it's really huge in terms of visibility. So if you're creating content and you want people to see it, Twitter is a great tool for that, but it the, the second piece to that is the exponential part, right? Twitter really has the potential to create exponential visibility for what you are putting out there because if you tweet something and one of your followers sees that and says, hey, this is really valuable, I'm going to retweet it, meaning they're going to repost your content on their profile or on their feed so that all of their followers can see it. Um, you can kind of see the potential here for your content to go viral. So it's really important to kind of think about what other people will share or what other people will find valuable because the more you put out that content, very shareable, valuable content, the more potential there is for your tweet to go viral because it can be retweeted by a follower who one of their followers might retweet it, etc. So that's where the exponential visibility comes in. The second thing that I wanted to point out as well is that Twitter is used as a conversational or a connective tool. So you're easily able to connect with your own audience members. Um, it really kind of breaks down the barriers 
and um, the obstacles to getting to talk to this person in a company because you're easily able to just tweet at them and give them your feedback or um, or connect with them maybe on a more business business level. So that's kind of the scope of what Twitter is used for. It's a great place to digest news from around the world. You're able to create exponential visibility for your brand and you're also able to connect with other people in your industry as well. So let's hop on to the Twitter profile so I can show you around. I'll give you a little bit of a tour of what things are and where and what they're used for. So right now I'm logged in to our Twitter account, our Esatino Twitter account and I'm on the home page. So you can see up here, I'm on the home page. And this is basically where I can get an overview of everything. In the middle here is my feed. So everybody that I'm following, all of their tweets will show up in this feed right here. So this is a, a dynamic, constantly changing feed because anytime one of my followers tweets, it will go right here in this feed. So you can kind of start to see how important it is as a person marketing on Twitter that you, um, that how often you need to be creating tweets because this feed is constantly changing. So the more tweets you create and um, the more consistently you create them across your, across the day, for example, um, more people are able to see what you're pu putting out. And you can see here that this is constantly updating itself. Um, when new tweets come in, it'll kind of group them all at the top here. It says view 13 new tweets. So I'm going to click on it and it will, it will um, release all of those tweets that have kind of bulked up in the past, in the past few minutes that I've talked to you. So this section over here is um, suggesting, Twitter suggests a few people that you can follow based on who you're already following, based on your interests, it will suggest those people right here. And you can easily just click on follow or just hover over their, um, their Twitter handle to see a little description and, and how many followers they have. So that's the, that section over here. On the uh, left-hand side, is your Twitter trends area. And this is basically a place where you, you can see in real time what is trending right now in your area. Now, by default, Twitter will take your interests into account. It will take who you're following as well as where you live. It will take all of these things into account and show you the trends that are happening right now in your area. But if you don't want to do that, you can actually change. You can click on the little change icon here and I can um, ask it to show me what's trending right now in New York. So I can just type that in, select it and click done. And you can see here that the, um, the, tr the trending topics have changed based on the city that I've selected here. Now these are all topics that are popular right now, right? It's not trends from 24 hours ago or five hours ago, it's constantly updating. Again, it's a very, this platform is very um, now, it's very relevant. Off to the corner here, you'll see a little preview of the profile, which I will show you in a second. This is our profile here. And um, in the middle at the top here above the feed is the box where I can create new tweets. So I can either do that from here or I can click on this button on the side here to create a new tweet and it'll bring up that same same box. So what is a tweet, right? What is this? This is how you are going to be creating content on Twitter. So this is your, your way of posting on Twitter. So a tweet can only be a maximum of 140 characters. That is extremely limited, but it allows us to really create to, to really make sure that whatever is in those few words that we have to use, it's gonna be really good. And it's gonna either be a link to something very valuable or it's gonna be a, a valuable thought shared or a quote, or um, you can also share pictures and videos as well on Twitter. So if I wanted to create a tweet here, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna go with, this is a test tweet. Right, so I'm gonna, let's add the smiley face. Um, so I'm gonna tweet this 
um, but I just wanted to show you here if you wanted to add a photo or a video you just need to click on this icon here you can also add a gif as well an animated image um, and this these are just I'm not going to go over these but it allows you to pull um, you can pull your your Twitter followers um, and also this will allow you to see whether you have your location enabled or not so you can see here as I am typing I just want to show you here you can see here as I'm typing you'll see that the the number of characters remaining will show up in the corner over here so um, that is that is helpful when you're creating content as well. So once I have my tweet ready, I'm going to click on tweet. And because that happened right now, it's going to put it at the top of my feed as well as the tweets feed on my profile. To go to your profile, you can either click on your the name over here in the corner or you can click on the thumbnail image and go to view profile so I'm going to do that right now and show you over here this is um, your profile is going to look um, similar because you're going to be uploading your own Twitter banner as well as a profile picture and you can do that um, by going to the settings area which I'll show you in a bit and you can do that by going to the edit profile button directly from your profile right here you can see when I when I click on it I can change my header photo I can change my profile photo I can also um, change the a little the little about description here that I have on the side so this will allow you to customize your Twitter profile so I'm just gonna click cancel and right now this is set to see all of um, all of everything that I've ever tweeted or that Jewel has ever tweeted on this account is going to show up in this feed so th this is a list of all of our tweets that we've created right and you can see them that a lot of them are, are videos here because we're so active on YouTube that is our primary marketing channel is YouTube in fact not really Twitter so you can see here at the top here this is the tweet that I just created I want to delete this tweet because I don't want that on my profile so I'm gonna click on this little downwards arrow here and I'm going to go down to delete tweet and click on delete so who is able to see all of my tweets everything that I'm tweeting your followers will be able to see that in their feed and anybody who is not a follower but who comes to your profile as long as your profile is public they will be able to see all of your tweets in this same section here that I'm showing you so keep that in mind um, you can also see who you're following you can see all of your followers as well here so how do you send a private message to somebody you can do that by clicking on this uh, this icon here at the top that says messages this is where you are exchanging private messages with people so it's not public um, none of your followers or anyone else will see this it's kind of like um, Facebook Messenger so to create that you just go ahead and click on new message and you and you can select the person that you want to uh, send the message to and then hit next and create your message for the most part you can only send direct messages to people that you follow however if that profile has enabled to receive direct messages from anybody then you don't necessarily need to be following them so in order to find out whether you can message that account or not you just need to type in their handle right here at the top and it will show you whether or not you're able to um, to directly message them so those are the that's how you send a private message to someone your notifications here at the top will let you know anytime someone has tweeted at you so anytime someone has like for example right here um, this person tweeted I liked a YouTube video from at Esatino so this is called a mention when you see an at sign and a, the, a name that means that that person is being tweeted at so Kimberly is tweeting at Esatino and that creates a notification on our end to see 
what who's messaging us right you can also hear see here another example here um, this person has tweeted at us again this is a mention um, to us so in your notification section you can see all the people who have mentioned you who have tweeted at you anytime you receive a new follower it will also show that to you here anytime uh, someone has liked one of your tweets that will also show up here and also anytime someone has retweeted retweeted one of your tweets. So this kind of lets you know what's happening, how are other users interacting with you. Um, it's a great idea to check your notifications all the time to see who's engaging with you and to engage back if you can. Back when we were first growing this Twitter account, um, anytime someone followed us, we would check out their profile, follow them back, and then tweet something at them and say, hello, person, um, whatever their name is. Um, I noticed that you like the arts. What's the, what's your favorite part about the arts? You know, just, just creating conversation. And the more you do that, the more you create conversation, the more visibility it gives back to you and allows you to create those personal connections with people in your industry. So, um, you can kind of make it a habit to come into this notifications tab see who's following you um, and if you want to follow them back you can go ahead and and follow them and then tweet at them right from within your notifications tab the moments tab here at the top it's kind of like um, instagram stories if you're familiar with instagram stories so uh, twitter has um, recently created this this page to allow you to curate a story based on other people's tweets or images or videos. So right now, Super Bowl is hugely trending. Um, and so people have all of the moments that are being created right now are on the Super Bowl. So that means people have gone and selected really, um, really iconic or milestone tweets that they might have seen or maybe that they have tweeted themselves and they have added photos to it to kind of create this this feed for someone to check out these moments to see kind of like a bite-sized story of what's happening right now on the Super Bowl. So to create your own moment you just click on this button right here and um, it will ask you to title your moment, to add a description, and you can also, as a thumbnail, use a photo or a video to, to set as the cover for that moment. And this is where you select your tweets, right? I'll just mute that. <laughs> um, so this is where you can... Ah, okay. Oh, that's what happened. See, I learned some. I learned something every day. When you hover over, it gives you sound, but when you hover away from it, then the sound goes away. So, I'm learning something every day. Um, so, um, right. So back to creating your moment. This is where you're able to select all of the tweets. So you can either select um, tweets that you've liked. You can select tweets by your own account um, or someone else's account. Um, and you can do all of that right here. You just select it by clicking on the check mark. And once you've kind of curated all of the, all of your favorite tweets for this Twitter moment, you've added your image or your video at the top, then you can go ahead and click on publish. So that's the Twitter moments. I haven't really used this feature very much um, myself, but it can be a really great tool for um, for your own followers to see you kind of as a, an authority because you're the one who's putting all of this, the news on a certain topic together and presenting it to them. So um, it can it can really give you a potential to create some unique content with this Twitter moments tool. So. That is a quick overview of all of the tabs. I want to show you a little bit more about the interaction on Twitter. So I'm going to go back to the home feed here and um, and show you a little bit about what's a retweet and how do you like other people's tweets, etc. So I'm on my home feed, which means I'm seeing all of the content that my followers have tweeted recently. And if I find a tweet that I really like that I want to share with my followers, then I can retweet that. So let me show you an example. I'm going to just scroll here, find something good. Um, 
just as an FYI, the most, um, the number one retweetable content on Twitter are quotes. So people are retweeting quotes like crazy on Twitter. So might be a good idea for you to incorporate quotes into the content that you create on Twitter so that more people are able to see you and and the content that you put out on your feed. So I know uh, Gary Vaynerchuk always puts out really valuable content. Um, I haven't watched this video, so I don't want to retweet it, but let's just go. I'm going to click into his profile to find one of his tweets that I want to retweet. Everybody's just talking about the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, we just need to scroll past the Super Bowl. Um, let's see here. I love that. Make positivity louder. Yes, that is something that I want to share with my followers. So I am going to retweet that. So I'm going to retweet this right here. And to do that, I just need to click on this little kind of like a recycle icon so I can retweet that to my own followers. I can also like it and I can also reply to this tweet. So I can reply to Gary. I can do that from anyone's profile. So I can go to someone else's profile, see all of their tweets and I can do the same thing here. I can also reply, retweet or like uh, anybody's tweet from my own feed as well. So I'm gonna, like I said, retweet that. I just need to click on it. I can add my own comment if I want. So I'm just gonna go yes, because I love that. And then tweet. So that is going to show up on my feed and all of my followers will see it because it's a tweet that I just created. It's a piece of content that I posted. Any piece of content that I tweet or that I post all of my followers will be able to see that in their news feed. So I'm also going to like it um, and I can um, reply to it if I want. Basically, when you reply to a tweet, it, it looks something like this. It automatically uh, sets up the mention to that person. Um, so it says at Gary V because that's his Twitter handle and I can say something to Gary right from here. I can add a photo, etc. But I'm going to leave Gary alone for now. So the purpose of retweeting is just so that you're able to share other people's valuable content with your um, with your own followers because that when you retweet it shows up in their newsfeed. To see all of your tweets again, you can go to your profile. So I'm going to go view profile and I'll show you um, you can see here that that tweet, retweet that I just did shows up right here. Now, something that you might have seen on Twitter a lot are hashtags. And the hashtag is just basically when you see the number sign and then a word after it. What are hashtags, right? Hashtags are a way to group a, a, a whole bunch of tweets based on a certain topic. The reason why this is important is because when people come on Twitter to search for tweets on a certain topic. Maybe they're searching for followers um, and they, they want to see who is tweeting about abstract art, for example. So they can search here at the top, abstract art, and I'm going to click on that here. Um, all of the tweets that have the phrase abstract art in it or that have hashtagged abstract art, as you see here, will show up in these search results. So this can be extremely valuable for you to use hashtags because this is one of the ways how you can attract new followers. When you create a tweet, you can put a hashtag on that, hashtag abstract art, and that basically categorizes your tweet in this search results feed so that when someone else comes here, they'll be able to see your tweet and they can check out your profile, etc. So it can be very useful to use hashtags, but don't go crazy with them. Uh, just use maybe one or two hashtags, not too many, to group each of your tweets. So for example, if you have created a tweet on, um, you are sharing a quote, for example. So you wrote out your quote, as a tweet and you um, you hashtagged quotes or hashtag inspiring quotes. When someone goes and searches that all of the search results to do with uh, inspiring quotes, 
your tweet will be in there as well. Now keep in mind, again, these search results are constantly updating every time someone creates a tweet um, with that hashtag. So again, it's important if you are in a certain industry and you want to attract um, a certain target market, like let's say for example, I wanna attract creative entrepreneurs to come over to our profile and see what we have to offer, then I can get into the habit of using hashtag creative entrepreneurs or hashtag artists or um, hashtag creative businesses or something like that so that somewhat so that I am more visible to that specific target market. This Twitter search area is also a great way to find followers. So when you first come on Twitter, you're not going to have any followers, but your followers are what will create your Twitter feed for you. So whatever you want to see in your feed, whatever news you want to receive, go ahead and look for those followers who produce that type of content. If let's say, for example, I want to see um, abstract art in my feed, right? Let's just go with the same example here. I have searched that term up here. I can use that search term. I can scroll through to see um, these different Twitter users. Um, I can go check them out. So I can hover over them to see, to read their about description and make sure that something that, that's a, that's a profile that I wanna follow. I can go ahead and do that right by clicking on this little icon here. So let's give you another example. If you wanted to see social media tips in your newsfeed, so you can go ahead and type in social media tips. And it's going to show you, um, it can show you the top Twitter or tweets that have been made on the topic of social media tips. You can also see the latest. You can filter by just seeing people who, um, who constantly produce tweets on social media tips. Um, you can see photos. You can filter by different things over here at the top. And so when you're searching for profiles to follow, this is a great way to kind of scroll through here, see who you want to follow, and then just click on follow. So guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. I tried my best to touch upon like little different things across Twitter. There's obviously so much more to talk about, but send me your questions. You know, if you have specific questions on Twitter, just uh, post it in the comments down below and I will either create a separate video for you or I'll just respond to you directly in the comments. I want to know if this is helpful and um, how else I can help you guys. Also, if you guys are interested, we have a resource available to you that you can learn more about customizing your Twitter profile and you can learn more about what types of content to post, how to get to know your audience better, and, um, and how you can stay on top of, of posting, like we'll offer you certain scheduling tools, etc., to help you constantly produce tweets across your days. So all of these resources are available to you in a course that we created. It's called Social Media Marketing Simplified, and I will put a link to that course in the description down below. It's very inexpensive, but we just wanna share this course with you so that you are able to get your feet wet and start start achieving your 2017 goals. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Back, back, back from the dead.